Hello, everybody. We're back here. We are back here. I just got a new mouse, so hopefully I can adjust to it pretty quickly so I won't be missing easy shots or misclicking a lot, but we'll see. Gonna take a bit to get used to, so bear with me if my uh, if my uh, zoom in between zones is a little slower than normal. We might not hit the same kill counts as normal as I get used to this new mouse. But uh, yeah, let's go for it. For those that uh, have not been in the streams the last few days, we got a great one to spawn yesterday, and I got one to spawn two days before that. The one two days before was off stream, uh, the one yesterday was on stream. So, we've had some pretty exciting stuff happening, man. Boom! What mouse is it? Uh, it's an EVGA X20. It's like a wireless mouse. It was on sale on Amazon for like 67% off or something, so I decided to give it a try, and so far it's actually a pretty good mouse. Like, it's really sturdy, it feels nice. And it's, uh, it's honestly not bad. I like it. First little, uh, impression is pretty good. It's a solid mouse. However, it's shaped a little bit differently than my old mouse, so I gotta get used to that, for sure. Definitely gotta get used to that. Boom. How's everybody doing? Uh, yes, both the great ones that we got the last couple days have been Whitetail. Both have been Whitetail. One was a 50-50 Kinsko and Typical Rack. The other was a full Kinsko Rack. Alrighty. Me too, Julian. Like, this update's gonna be so good. It is going to be truly incredible. I am just blown away at all the stuff they've packed in, like... I cannot believe we're getting three new true rack species. Like, oh my gosh. That is incredible. Three new true rack species. We haven't had that many new true rack species in ages. And I'm not even talking about the new map ones. Euro Bison, Plains Bison, and Springbok are all getting reworks to their, to their horns. They're finally getting true racks added. So huge, man. So huge. Gonna catch the legendary fish on the angler? Nice, goat. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Are the links not working? What do you mean, the links? Which links? How about a 223 that works? It's pretty insane, right? I can't believe they're finally buffing the 223. The fact that they're buffing the 223 is huge. Like, it's absolutely huge, man. They are giving us so much in this update. Buffing the 223, we get the brand new 22250. We get Australia with a bunch of new species. And then we get True Racks for Euro Bison, Plains Bison, and Springbok. Like, and tent customization. Like, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much. Oh, man. I honestly cannot wait. It's gonna be so incredible. About time they did something huge like this with a bunch of stuff we've been asking for. It's an early Christmas? Pretty much. It's Christmas in... Not July, but June! Where did... There he is. There he is. What is better to hunt Plains Bison on? Silver Ridge, definitely. Silver Ridge Peaks is great for them. Hey, Tony, how's it going, man? I don't believe so, Deadfall. I don't think 22250 will be as weak as the old 223. Jaxi said that the 22250 is a powerhouse. Yeah, I mean, either way, though, Pioneer, it's a lot better than it was. Like, it killed the uh, Whitetail at about the same rate as the 243, maybe a little bit slower. But, I mean, it should be slightly slower than a 243, obviously. But I I'm impressed with it. It looks good. 
Sad about Red Deer reset. Yeah, but I mean, they're going to be getting new furs, man. That's incredible. That's so cool that they're going to get a fur rework. Man, this update is just so packed. I can't even begin to, like, even remember everything that's coming. There's so much happening this update that I forget half of it when I'm trying to, like, talk about it. No, we haven't found any great ones today, Swift. For anybody confused, there is no great ones on the map. We've killed two great ones in the last three days. If, uh, if any of you may have misread the title. That's a big boy. Nice. Beautiful. Thank you, Clay. You too, man. Oh yeah, Jaden, that's gonna be sick. Pike, Pike, Pike. We're starting we're starting things off like this, huh? Pike, my gosh, dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the uh gifted memberships. Absolute legend, you. Holy, thank you so much. Congrats to everybody that got gifted those. Landon, Logan, uh, Uncle Gaming, uh, Jir, Crichton, uh, Potato or er, Potato Ninja. All the wild kid and more and sink steel john congrats guys you all got gifted memberships oh big buck to start it off with johan thank you so much for the super chat really appreciate it really appreciate it and no there is no great one furs no new great one furs for uh red deer jaxi confirmed it's not a great one overhaul yeah we're at 1083 members now it's pretty mind-blowing we are getting really close to 1100, which will unlock a new emote, so... I would imagine we'll probably hit that within the next few days. At the rate things have been going recently, I bet we'll have another new emote soon. Y'all have just been going wild with memberships recently. Yeah, show me the diamonds for sure. For sure, man. Just go to town on those red deer. Definitely a good time to do so. Red Deer gives such good money. And with them getting reset, you know, might as well. Might as well go through and wreck all the zones and just rack up as much cash as you can. Okay, we got a stubborn herd here. Unfortunate. Is it every 100 members? Yes. Like, you're, uh, at first, it's not every 100 members. I think you get your first few emotes within... The first like one or two hundred you're able to get like four or five of them I believe and then after a while it does become like every 50 and then it becomes every 100 once you reach I believe 500 members I think once you get like 500 members you get a new member every 100 or not member a new emote slot every 100 members so that is how they do it can you keep this video public after the stream? I always do, Clay. I never private my streams. I never make my streams unlisted unless, like... Unless, like, something bad happened, right? I never, uh... I never private a stream. Just a doe, eh? Alright. Rylan, thank you for the super chat. How to become a member? With the join button. There should be a join button next to the sub button. Uh, alternatively, you can click the link in the description. And uh, if you're lucky, sometimes you can be gifted them as well. Thank you for the super chat once again, though, man. 10 fabled, hopefully. I know, right? Hopefully. Nice, Pioneer. Yeah, Kato, hopefully. Also, welcome back, Kato. How you doing? Hope you're doing phenomenally. Is the update going to reset moose? No, it's not. Moose are one of the species that are not getting reset. Our deer act a little strange today, not gonna lie. Already. Is herd management better than not doing herd management? It, it depends on what you want. It's not gonna in increase your chances of great ones. Uh, it's not going to increase your chances of rares at all. The only thing herd management will do 
is give you more diamonds. So if you want to get more diamonds and you don't mind them becoming not as rare as they typically are, then that is like what you would do herd management for. A lot of people that do it are after like super rares. What species are getting reset? Um, Euro bison, plains bison, springbok, red deer, fallow deer. Was there any others that he mentioned? Oh, bobcat. Bobcat are getting reset because they're changing their drink time. They're finally not going to be spooking off pronghorn, which is going to be nice. Yeah, feral goat are getting a reset as well because they're getting a fur rework. I know what I did wrong. I didn't go to this zone. I missed an entire zone, so I probably didn't kill enough of them to actually get the respawns going. Great one on the map throwing off respawns. I don't think so. Not in this scenario. I think it's just I didn't kill enough that last run. Yeah, Nicholas. Well, you'll probably still have a couple, maybe three, four weeks to do it. It sounds like they haven't even sent out the update for certification on console. So that would mean you probably have at least a couple weeks to play before it gets reset, if I were to take a guess. Because in the past, I believe certification usually takes a couple weeks. Uh, Ryland, thank you for the super chat, dude. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, you're probably on iOS then. If you have an iPhone, it will not show up. Not sure why, but it just doesn't show up on iPhone. How do you get so many diamonds and great ones? Uh, we get a ton of diamonds through herd management. Uh, great ones, I, I just kill a lot of animals. Like right now, we're killing 80 to 100 whitetail every hour. And we're usually grinding like six hours a day with the whitetail uh, on and off stream. And so you can imagine, like, if you're killing that much per day, it gets to a point where you are going to get great ones. Like, if I grind six hours of whitetail every day, I'll probably get at least one great one every week. And I think at this point, we have a total of 34,000 whitetail kills. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Yeah, nothing to respawn there either. Wow. Holy. Ryland, thank you for the super chat as well. Once again, why? I don't know. iOS just doesn't let you use the memberships. Unless you join through the link in the description. That's the only way you can do it. As far as I understand, it has something to do with them only wanting Apple Pay to be used. And YouTube doesn't allow Apple Pay because they're, com I believe they're competitors to Apple. And so, yeah, uh, there's just a lot of stuff that you can do on like Android or PC that you can't do on iOS due to like, uh, you know, competing companies owning different parts of it. Where's my response, man? <laughs> hey, official ship, how's it going? I've got my, uh, I've got my grind set up at specific zones. So, the animals in Call of the Wild, they all have zones, right? They have drink zones, feed zones, and resting zones. Drink zones are by far the most efficient to hunt. What we're doing right here is we're just setting up at drink zones. We have a tent set up at all of my main drink zones. And we just uh, fast travel between them repeatedly and kill the uh, bucks that are there. It is by far the fastest and most efficient way to grind for great ones. How do you get the scope? Uh, the Argus scope? It is the highest zoom power scope in the game. You just have to earn weapon score. If you earn rifle score, it'll unlock it and then you can purchase it. Yeah, the Argus is pretty good, T-Dog. Was playing a multiplayer server today, saw a guaranteed diamond Gemsbach, and somebody else started spraying a 308 in every direction, spooking it off, I was heated. And that happens, man. That's one of the unfortunate things about multiplayer. Anytime I play in multiplayer, I try to steer clear of everybody else that's in the session. Because that type of stuff does happen quite often, unfortunately.
The way I see it, anytime I'm in multiplayer, it's... It's best to just, like... Stay away from everybody, because you never know who's gonna try and steal trophies from you. You never know who's gonna, you know, drive an ATV by you or spook them with gunshots. 247? That rack scores that high? What? Oh, that's right. I got one a couple days ago, but it was off stream. But that's insane. I, for the longest time, I had never got one above 245 for that rack. Crazy gets to 247. Is seven lakes enough for a great one grind? Uh, it depends on how many zones you have at those lakes and how many bucks are in those zones, um, mister. Never knew to start playing this game and still have no clue half the madness to this. I just go outside and go hunting usually, but it's too hot currently. What map am I on? I'm on Leighton Lake District right now. And yeah, I totally get it, man. Right now with the way called wild is, with the amount of content that's been added over the years, I can imagine it's probably kind of overwhelming jumping into it at this point. Also, I, I do want to make it clear. You don't have to play the way that I play to like enjoy the game, right? I just play like this because I've put about 5,500 hours into the game and I'm grinding for end game trophies like the great one. That's what we're doing right now is we're grinding for the great one, which usually takes a couple thousand kills to get. And so it's, it's all about efficiency if you're targeting great ones. And so I just look for the most efficient setup I can possibly do. And so that's why we hunt like this. But I, I do quite a bit of just running around as well. Especially on uh, Revon Tuli Coast, that map is just so much fun. It's so much fun to just run around on Revon Tuli. I have about four level 8 red deer that scored 240 and a couple level 9s that scored 230s. Yeah, sounds about right, Nicholas. That's how it be. The, uh, the level 8 red deer share the same rack as the small level 9s. How many super airs do I have? Uh, I believe 13 now that we got that Mela. Yeah, Chip, exactly, exactly. I recommend, you know, just getting used to the game, just playing around, learning all of the, like, the basic mechanics of the game first before, like, getting into this type of stuff, definitely. I didn't really start grinding until, to be honest, until I had a couple thousand hours in the game. Then I really started grinding. But, like, before I, before I did YouTube, I didn't really ever grind. I would do, like, maybe a, a casual grind here or there for a diamond I wanted, but that was about it. Can we see Lucky? I'm not going to go clear over to Lucky, Mike. He is so, 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 so far away. I'd have to walk a couple kilometers just to get to him. What is the highest scoring great one rack that I have? My highest scoring great one is one of my big rack whitetail. I think it's like 636 maybe? Or 637? I don't remember exactly. It's pretty high up there, though. Ryland, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Just got a female albino Rocky Mountain Elk. Nice, dude. That's pretty rare, to be honest. Albino Rockies are not easy to find. They are definitely not easy at all. Drive to 400 meters and walk. Eh, I, I don't know, man. It, it'll just take time away from our grinding. What are my top three rarest super rares? Um, my melanistic diamond moose for sure. Probably the piebald caribou diamond. That one's definitely one of my rarest because super rare caribou are like impossible to get. And the last one, I don't know. Probably. Probably the Diamond Mellow Whitetail we got recently. It would have to be that one. Actually, no. The Albino 
the albino diamond whitetail that we got on Revon Tuli. That's probably my third rarest. Uh, Ryland, thank you for the super chat once again, dude. Initial spawn. Oh, it was an initial spawn. Nice. Awesome, dude. You love to see it. You love to see it. Come on. Why, why are the respawns being weird, man? Is this, this... This is how we're gonna start out today? With inconsistent respawns? Rest in peace is the, uh... Ooh, he big. Rest in peace is the, uh, 100 kills an hour. Definitely not gonna happen for our first hour of the day. Let's get that guy to move. Where's the other buck? I don't know if he's respawned yet. With the way the respawns are acting, it would not surprise me if they are not respawned. Nice. We got him, though. Uh, let's go to the other tent and shoot across at the other herd. Yeah, the respawns are being really rude, for sure, man. For sure. It happens, though. They're not always consistent. And you know what's pretty wild? Jaxie Beard revealed on stream today that animals are not even tied to a need zone. They're tied to, like, a specific, like, home range, right? So, like, uh, let's say... Let's say this is the home range, right? Let's, let's pretend this is the home range for my whitetail. They're not guaranteed to come back to the same herd that I shot them in. They could go to a different herd. You know, we always thought that that was a bug, but Jaxie confirmed today that that's a mechanic. <laughs> that's apparently intended to happen. They're not supposed to always come back to the same zone. And what he said was that's supposed to give you a bit of like, uh, uncertainty and randomness. Not always being able to uh, predict where they're going to be. Which is honestly, uh, honestly, I, I, I guess that's fine. I'm just happy they confirmed that it's supposed to be like that. I've said for a while that I don't care if it's intended. It's just like for the longest time we didn't know if it was intended. So it's nice that they confirmed it's intended. Nice, sea dog that's awesome. What do I think about a choke DLC? That'd be cool, but to be honest, I don't think we really need it. Like, the shotguns work fine the way they are. Yeah, that's the other buck there. Yeah, CRC. That's herd management for you, man. Lots of max weights show up with herd management. Um, I have in the past, Jose. I might kick that series back up at some point. Maybe with the, uh... Nah, that's unfortunate, troll. Maybe with the release of the Great One Fallow, I'll do uh, a series of helping people find their fallow zones. What do you mean, Drake Shot? Nice, Masan. I hope that you have some, uh, hope you have some fun with it. Yeah, we did shoot the three. Oh, we got three bucks here. Nice, the respawns are coming back. Ooh, oh, we got him. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, for those that aren't familiar with what, uh, what is going on, I got a new mouse yesterday, so I'm kind of adjusting to it right now. So if I miss more shots than normal, apologies. It's probably going to happen. Anytime you get a new piece of hardware, it's a little bit uh, tough to adjust to it at first. Rylan, thank you for the super chat. Do you crossplay? What do you mean by crossplay? There is no crossplay in Call of the Wild, so no, you cannot crossplay. Thank you for the super chat, though. Why have my whitetail not work? I have all my zones. I did a grind on Layton. 
and a grind on Rev. They both stopped respawning. I think Whitetail or Curse for me. How many kills have you had in the grind, uh, Soul? Because if you're sub 1,500 kills, they're going to move around a lot. They move around more the earlier you are in a grind. I mean, it wasn't until like pretty late in the grind where I started seeing consistency with my respawns. They bounce between zones a lot early on, especially. Did I grab both of the bucks that were down here? Did I? No, I definitely didn't. Did one float? Yeah, one of them floated. <laughs> Unfortunate. On Layton, you're sub 500. Oh, if, if you're sub 500 on Layton, you definitely are just experiencing them moving around. When you're, when you're that early on in a grind, uh, they're going to be creating new herds and going into like different zones and stuff. So it's definitely something you got to watch. I'd, I'd keep going with your latent grind. So I'd say they're just moving. You probably need to find more zones. Layton can have over 70 zones as you grind, as new ones get created. So if you have sub 70 zones, there's always a chance that there could still be some you're missing. Hey, stars, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. There we go. Should I start a second grind for Whitetail on Layton? If you want to, John. If you want to. It's a, it's a really good map for them. I enjoy the, I enjoy the Layton grind quite a bit. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is it is a little bit more brushy than Rev on Thule. Uh, Logan, thank you for the super chat, dude. How do I become a member? It doesn't say join. If you can't see the join button, most likely I would say you're on iOS, right? You're probably on a uh, iPhone or iPad or uh, some type of Apple device. Apple doesn't allow uh, the purchasing of memberships for some reason. The only way to access it is to click the link in the description. That takes you directly to the membership page. And if that doesn't work, then I unfortunately don't know what to say. Really, Soul? I've been told by so many people that if you're on iPhone, you can't see the, uh, the join button. Maybe it's only certain versions of Apple then? Or of iOS? Or maybe it's just iPhones and not iPads. I don't know, either way, like a lot of people on iOS can't see it for some reason. But the uh, the link that's in chat right now, that takes you straight to uh, the membership page. Nice, Mason, that's awesome, dude. Also, guys, we're 234 kills into this grind right here. Our last great one spawned at 289, which is pretty nuts. Let's hope we can get another early great one. If we get two early great ones in a row, that'll be mind-blowing. We've only had two short grinds in a row twice, or once, actually. One time we've had it happen, like, super quick back-to-back. -back. Let's hope the trend continues. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? Restarting Mississippi for Whitetail because Rev broken? Ooh. Feels bad, man. Am I going to do bears today? Maybe. As with any day, it depends on if I'm in the mood for bear hunting. We will have to see if I uh, feel like hunting bears after the Whitetail. Also, guys, I am uploading the first gaming video on my second channel the second channel as of now just has like some card opening videos but we're gonna have a ground branch video coming out at 6 p.m pacific standard time so if you're not already subbed to the second channel definitely recommend uh, subscribing over there if you want to see games that aren't call of the wild i do uh 
I'm gonna start doing all the other games that aren't hunting or fishing related on that channel. So if you want to see those streams and you want to see the videos related to other games, head over to that channel. Because uh, I want to keep this channel, Just Call the Wild, and uh, other related games. So we got the second channel for all other stuff. There we go. I'm a big fan, need help doing my red deer grind. I would recommend checking out the uh, guide that I've got on my channel, uh, Austin. I've got a red deer grind that is uh, pretty detailed in how I hunt red deer and some of the best places to go for them. Definitely recommend checking that out if you haven't. Rylan, thank you for the super chat again, man. Ground branch, yay. Yeah, ground branch is fun. I enjoy it. It's a very like slow paced, methodical FPS game. Absolutely love the uh, like tactical FPS's. It's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. Hey, Pops Pistols, it's going good, man. I hope everything's going well for you. Bye, right, little deer. Uh, what do we got for number here? Three. Okay. Oh, that's a tent. So the other zone is not here, which means we can fast travel without spooking them. Um, I've already done that, Clay. I've done a video on American Marksman. Actually, I've done a few American Marksman videos. And whenever they update the game, I'll do another video on it. Hey, D1. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Couple more bucks. This is where we ended up getting the great one yesterday. The great one that we got yesterday spawned right here in this zone. It was honestly so unexpected to get one at that low of a kill count. Like, my gosh. Hey, I appreciate it, Tragic. Uh, Luke, thank you for the 17 months, man. 17 months as a member. That's a long time, dude. You are approaching that two year mark rapidly. Is Yukon Valley a good map? It is a fan favorite for sure. A lot of people love Yukon. It's not one of my personal favorites, but it is regarded as one of the most popular maps in Call of the Wild, so I would say it's a good map. Holy. Two biggins. Uh, business, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Are they deleting Red Deer Zones on Tiabaroa? Uh, yes, they will be resetting the population on Tiabaroa. Oh my God. So it's not that they're going to, they're not going to actually change the home range of Red Deer. They're just going to be resetting the pop for the new furs, which means you will need to find your zones again, or at least most of them. Unfortunately. Two fifty. This rack can score two fifty. <laughs> Guys, did you know this rack can score two fifty? What? I've never killed one that scores this high. I've never had this rack shape score two fifty. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That's insane. I didn't know they could get that big for this rack. Uh, we're gonna tax that because this is. The first one I've seen in over 34k kills, which just shows you how rare it is. Over 34,000 kills, and I've never seen that rack score that high. The highest I've seen that rack score was 245 until recently, and then earlier today and a couple days ago, I had a couple score 237 or 247, and now we had a 250. I didn't know that was even possible, man. I did not know that was possible. That's crazy. Alrighty, let's get lined up on these. Still getting used to the new mouse. <laughs> uh, not really, Joni. We've only been streaming for like 36 minutes. I wouldn't say you're late.
Um, I already answered you, uh, D1. I said we're doing good. You got a new mouse? Nice, Zachy. Or no, you're saying I finally got a new one. Yes, I did. I got a EVGA X20. The EVGA X20 wireless mouse. It's honestly not bad. It's better than I thought it would be. I've never bought an EVGA mouse before. And it's actually pretty decent quality. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with the build quality of it. It's a sturdy mouse. However, the shape of the mouse is a little different, so I'm still getting used to it. Still getting used to it. And I'm still fine-tuning the DPI, because it feels like it's a little bit... I'm using... I was using the same DPI last night as my other mouse, and it felt like it was slower. So I'm trying to fine-tune the DPI still. But other than that, it's pretty good. Would it be possible for you or a dev to hop on my map and help me set up a red deer grind? Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to jump on people's maps and help uh, set things up. The most I can really do is... I occasionally will do streams where I join random people's maps in multiplayer. And will help search for need zones for like an hour. But that's about the most I can do and it's random who gets chose for that. So, unfortunately, I can't just like, uh, I can't help you set up your entire grind. Most of my time is dedicated to making content on the channel, which takes up pretty much all of my day. And then any time that I'm not making content, I'm, uh, spending time with my daughter. Boom. Little diamond action. Love to see it. Uh, I don't know where that guy went. Not going to worry about him, though. Because he is out of here. Probably would help if I look in the correct direction. Uh, there's no one over there, though. Rylan, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. You still have long hair? Yes, I've, I've never, uh, I've never cut my hair for like three or four years, so. It is indeed. I still have the, uh, the luscious locks, the majestic mane. Oh, I set up a red deer grind, they're about to reset the zones. True, true. I wouldn't recommend setting up, uh, red deer grinds yet, because... They are resetting them when the update hits. So yeah, that's a good that's a good thing to mention. You need the buzz cut? My hairline says otherwise, Cole. My hairline says no buzz cut. <laughs> Haven't cut my hair in six other than the front. Got paid 200? <laughs> Did somebody really pay you 200 to cut the front of your hair? <laughs> That's hilarious. It's amazing. I mean, at that point, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Why not? I say yes to mullet. No, Zachy. No mullets. No mullets. I am not a mullet fan. I don't know. I just, I don't like the way mullets look. A skullet. No. No, bro, bro. How's it going, bro, bro? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. Um, Episode one of Ground Branch is going up on the channel later tonight, bro, bro, at 6 p.m., it's going to be uh, the second the second game of Ground Branch we ever did on stream the other day. As kind of like an introduction to the game on the channel. Should be pretty sick. I'm excited to start making content on the second channel again. Ah, man. It, I thought it was going to run faster, and it didn't. Nah, Zaki. Actually, you know what? I, I, I lied. I did get my hair trimmed recently. I did trim the ends off of it because they were starting to get, uh, they were starting to get damaged from just not being cut in a while. So I was starting to get, like, a little bit of like damaged hair at the ends of them so I did trim off the ends but 
What time is it for me? It's currently 2.17 p.m. There's a deer. Come on in. There we go. Hold on, I actually, I think I do need to lower my sensitivity just slightly. Let me do that real quickly, guys. It'll be like literally five seconds. Well, more than five seconds, but you know what I mean, like 20 seconds. Uh, let's lower the DPI slightly. I use 950 on my other mouse. I have it at 1,050. I think 1,000 might be the sweet spot. Maybe? We will have to see. Ah, not too bad. That, that felt okay. I, honestly, I think it's the shape of the mouse that's throwing me off. Like, I'm just not used to the shape of this mouse yet. Uh-oh, it, it rebound my, uh, my mouse button. Uh-oh. Why did it do that? I didn't change that. There. Just, why, why did it reset that? It makes no sense. Alright, now... Now the enter key is bound to my mouse button again. Which, by the way, is how I claim them so quickly. I have the enter key bound to one of my mouse buttons, so I can just go boom, boom. Hey, Rylan, how's it going? PC problems? Oh, yeah. But, I still will always take PC over anything else. Turn for me. Turn for me, sir. Come on. C come on. <laughs> okay, he's calm. We can... Boom. There we go. How many kills did it take for the second great one? It was like 289. It was a really quick grind. Hoping to get lucky again. No, I haven't got the great one bear yet. We are over 7,600 kills now on that grind. The bear has been ridiculous, man. Like, at this point, the bear grind is just not even fun anymore. It's just been, it's just gone on for too long. Uh, no, you can't, business. Every platform uses different uh, save files. What the? Oh, this herd is just now coming in. All right, then. Never had that happen. Hey, Zach, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, no problem, business. No problem. There's the other one. Trying to grind, or trying to money grind. Should I start a whitetail grind first or a fallow grind first? Um, I wouldn't do a fallow grind yet as they're going to be getting reset. I would say, honestly, out of those two, Whitetail, but the thing is, neither of those are super great for a money grind. I mean, Fallow's decent, but like I said, they're going to get reset with the next update, so I wouldn't recommend starting a Fallow grind yet. Um, I'd probably recommend Red Deer for money if you have a gun that can take Red Deer. Red Deer will give you a lot of money.
Uh, Andre, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Got over 6,000 kills for Red Deer and 40 diamonds in one super error after reset. I'll have to go back and start grinding again for a great one. Yeah, the thing is, like, it's not going to reset your chances of getting a great one, right? Because a great one comes literally randomly. A great one can pop at any time. So, I mean, your chances of getting a great one are going to be just as good as any time. But, I mean, it will give you a fresh, uh, fresh map to look at. So, that'll definitely be like a breath of fresh air. If you've been uh, going for 6,000 kills, I imagine it'll probably be nice to get some new herds to look at. Thank you for the super chat once again, though. Really appreciate it. How do you get money quickly? Uh, like I just said, red deer, man. Red deer are so good for it. Especially if you're hunting Tiaboroa. If you're hunting Tiaboroa for red deer, you'll make money like it's nothing. Three, okay, so no respawns there. No, I didn't get the Great One Bear, sadly, Donald. No Great One Bear. We've had two Whitetails show up recently, but no bear. The bear is just rude. I'm convinced it just doesn't like me. Just one? Yeah, just one respawn here. Better than nothing, I guess. Am I going for the bear today? Uh, probably not, but I don't know, really. It's a maybe for sure. It's a big maybe. Wait a second, that's a two, didn't it? Huh. That's a little concerning. That says two. It should have said three. Even though I kill one, like, it'll it'll always say what it was before I shot it. That's weird. I, maybe those tracks didn't appear until I killed it. Red Deer today? No, I won't be hunting Red Deer today. I've already got everything I wanted for Red Deer. Except for Mela Super Rare, but I'm not going to start up a Red Deer grind just for one super rare that I probably wouldn't even get. With the red deer reset, will it reset the pressure on your red deer hunting areas? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Like, in some updates, it does get rid of the pressure. In others, it doesn't, so... I, I don't know. The last couple times they've done resets, it didn't get rid of hunting pressure, so... I'm just going to say it probably won't. So you'll probably still have to watch the pressure. And no, you got gifted a membership, man. You got uh, you got gifted membership. We've had so many gifteds come through the last few days. It's been ridiculous. Like the last week and one day has been insane. It's been absolutely ridiculous. We've had a few very generous people. Zach, Pike, T2, among others. There's been a ton of generosity the last few days. So quite a few of you will have gifted memberships that didn't have them before. Which is amazing. Hey Miles, how's it going, man? Welcome back, Mr. Brobra. You made it just in time to see some trees. Oh, probably because it's 1210. Okay. That makes sense. Just needed to reset the time. What? Oh gosh. Yeah, I still need to get used to this mouse, but how did those not hit? 
I feel like that should have been vitals. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm thinking too, Zacky. The only thing I'm a little worried about is that river. That river might be a problem. If imagine if Fallow were like along the entire thing. Ugh, that would just that's a lot of water to cover, but you know, maybe it'll be good. I guess the worst it could be is like Leighton Lakes. At worst, it'll be like Leighton probably. But I suppose we'll have to see, man. Suppose we'll have to see. Yeah, it definitely will not be worse than New England, that's for sure. But yeah, I was very happy with the low amount of lakes. That's for sure. And it makes sense. I mean, it's Australia. I wouldn't expect there to be like an entire map of water, you know? Weston, thank you for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. <laughs> Sup, Scarecrow? Ah, just grinding. Whitetail as always, man. Trying to get more great ones. We're trying to reach 40 great ones before the new update. We're at 35 now, so, I mean, we're making good progress. Yeah, kind of, uh, Pioneer. I could see that. I don't know. I personally like the low lake count. I am a big fan of uh, maps that don't have a lot of water because it makes it easier to set up grinds. And as a grinder, that's like, that's like number one for me. But I, I get it. Some people like it to be a little bit, a little bit more difficult to like pin down where all the animals are at every time. It's not for everybody for sure. Do it, Johnny. Do it. How you doing? That's a decent buckaroo. Oh, really, Johnny? I guess I just didn't look down when you had messages. Or maybe I just assumed that it was Brobra. Oh, definitely, Zaki. Definitely. You know, what'll be interesting is if we can set up Fallow and Red Deer at the same time on Australia. If we can do like a dual Fallow Red Deer grind, that could be pretty nuts. Oh, you got to retype the message of the 223. I mean, it's pretty huge news that 223 buff. I'm blown away that they're doing that. I did not expect the 223 to get buffed. You could tell that Jaxie was like super, super excited about all this stuff too. Like he, he looked like he was really freaking excited. Between like the 223 buff, the uh, new Truax species, there's so much to look forward to, man. This is going to be one of those updates where even if you're not excited about Australia, there is so much new stuff that, is, that isn't even like on Australia. It's going to be incredible. Oi. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro. And no, you're not using the Discord properly, Snipes. You're supposed to accept your roles so you can see the channels. But, you know, nobody ever reads the rules in my Discord, so... Nobody ever actually makes it into the channels. <laughs> Reading the rules would help out a lot. It, it explains exactly how to access all the channels. No, I see it, Johnny. I see it. 
I'm just smoking uh, these deer real quick and then I'm gonna read it. There's some testing on 223. Pen looks the same as it is currently, but expansion got massively improved as I could not insta drop whitetail like Jaxi could, even at shorter distances. Yeah, definitely. I was I wasn't sure about the pen though, so that's nice to know. So the pen isn't really in any different, it's just got better expansion. I mean, either way, it's still a massive increase in performance, so I'm excited. You know what Call of the Wild needs? Bigfoot. <laughs> I mean, Bigfoot would be interesting. It'd be very interesting. I mean, I've said my... I've said how I feel, uh, Ziggs. I said how I feel yesterday. I don't see any evidence to show that it does. And I mean, I'm the one that's done like 35 Great One grinds. I buy premiums has done over 50 and he's come to the same conclusion as well. As has most of the community. But everybody's got different opinions and it's fine to have different opinions. As long as you're not trying to force your opinions on other people, then I don't have a problem with people believing differently. Okay, there's that one. Uh, once again, we messed up the shot on the second one. You know, we're doing really good at messing up the second shot. I think after a few days, once we get better, with the uh, new mouse, I think we'll start getting better kill counts. And being able to make these follow-up shots a little bit better. I did not even see these things. They're right there. Would you like if they added a great one elk? I would love it, Damon. That'd be so awesome, dude. Great one elk would be like a dream great one for sure. Like either of the elk species, mule deer, black tail deer, roe deer, seeka deer, cape buffalo, lion, like all those are ones I'd really love to see someday. I, I don't know if we'll ever get all of them, but man, I'd love it. What mouse is it? It is a EVGA X20. No, we haven't got the Great One Bear yet, Jackie. 7,600 kills and no Great One Bear. All my luck is with the Whitetail, apparently. Yeah, Roosevelt Elk are a uh, base game species for sure. I'd say it's a possible addition for a Great One in the future. If we can get another map that has them, I think it for sure will end up being a uh, great one in the future. And in fact, to be honest, since it is on a base game map, they probably don't even have to make sure that it's on two maps. I know in the past they've tried to make sure you have at least two maps with that species, but I mean, eventually they're going to run out of species where they're on the base game maps and there is two different uh, places to grind them like... Eventually they'll run out of species that fit that criteria, so they'll have to start branching out. So I think I think Roosevelt's will get a great one one of these days. People really want a Roosevelt great one. Yeah, Johnny, rest in pieces to that bison grind. But at least you'll be able to do it with Truax ones now if you want to. That's pretty big. Ooh, level three. Love to see it. All right, two more down. Oh, I would love that, uh, Jesus, man. I would love that. An exotic game ranch is one of my dream maps. Ugh, troll. I've been saying for a long time I'd love to see a Texas game ranch with a bunch of exotic species. What does true racks mean? A uh, true random antler configuration system. It essentially just randomizes antlers. It's what stuff like the whitetail have. 
to make their antlers all wonky and different from each other. That is the true Rex system. Okay, guys, we actually didn't do too bad. We got about 70 deer in an hour. So, a little bit better than I thought we were doing, but still not as good as the last couple days. That's a decent deer. Couple decent bucks there. Kill count, 273. Did we kill the first one? I don't know if we killed the first one. I might have aimed too low. That that might have been too low. I'm going to assume it was too low. I don't even see the blood. We definitely hit him though, because he booked it out of here, but he has not died yet, so yeah, I would say we missed. I'd say we missed vitals. Yeah, definitely, Johnny, definitely. Man, I'm so excited. 22, 250, and the 223 will finally be useful. Pretty big. Pretty big news, man. You want wonky bison, for sure. It is exciting. And to think we thought they would never get true Rex. I remember for the longest time we thought that Bison would never get true Rex because of the fact that a while back, I can't remember if it was Jaxie or TK, but one of them said, oh, uh, I didn't think the Bison really need true Rex. And I mean, I, I kind of agreed. I was like, yeah, I, I guess they really don't need true Rex that badly. They kind of, there's not really too much variation we could get, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm excited to see what it ends up uh, looking like. Will their horns be bigger or will they just have more variety in like shape and angle? It's going to be interesting. Uh, I think I'm really most excited to see the Euro Bison out of the two. But Springbok's probably my most anticipated out of all three new True Rex species. Really want to see what they did with Springbok. Maybe it'll get me hunting them again. How do I have so many tents? Uh, you can have 16 tents on each map. That's how. I've got a full 16 on the map. Uh, yeah, Johnny, that's the one thing I'm dreading. The no drink zone springbok grind. Ugh. Yikes. It's going to be interesting. Just one Gemsbok True Rex. I would imagine that if they did it to Springbok, Gemsbok will probably get them eventually as well. I mean, I'm sure their goal is probably to get it on every species. In fact, I'm pretty sure in the past they said they wanted to get it on every species. Can we get all three? We get all three. Ah, oh, man. This new mouse is going to take a bit of getting used to. What the? There's six deer. There was six deer there. Since when? Considering I have a kid, Quicks, I would, I would hope so. But by the looks of that comment, you probably haven't. 222. Oh, that's probably a dime. He moved, but the second shot got him. He moved. Yeah, <laughs> ah, it brings back flashbacks of super rares. Wait, there was another buck? Where? Oh. That's not where I aimed on the second shot, but okay. Thank you, Call of the Wild. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. It happens, though. It is what it is.
Hey, John, you didn't miss too much. A couple of diamonds, but no rares or great ones. Uh, we're still just trying to get used to this new mouse I got. It's uh, proving to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Trying to get used to the size of the mouse and the shape of it. And getting the proper sensitivity with it, because the DPI feels weird. Feels different than on my old mouse, even though I'm using the same DPI. <laughs> yeah, that's, I was thinking that same thing, Johnny. I'm like, huh, somebody's lurking, but I didn't want to say in case they didn't want anybody to know. Hi, Caitlin. How's it going? The lurk has been unlurked. Yeah, new mouse. I got a uh, EVGA X20. Because uh, the G502, the right click is getting stuck. Like, uh, I I press down on the mouse buttons way too hard. It's a bad habit. I don't know why I do, but like, I just, I get so focused on the game that I don't realize I'm pressing the mouse button so hard. And so the right click gets stuck on the G502 now. So I had to get a new mouse. But so far, this one's pretty nice. It's the first wireless mouse I've ever used. And so far, it's, it's kind of nice not having a, a cord. So far, it's pretty nice not having a cord to worry about. Sad day. Sad day, man. Ran out of ammo. Use the controller and you won't have that issue. Yeah, but then I'll kill like five deer an hour. That would be my new issue. <laughs> Am I going to play Way of the Hunter? Whenever they add the next map. Yeah, that on your old mouse? Yeah, it's rough. It's really rough. It was throwing me off because, like, the uh, mouse button would get stuck, and then it's like, oh, oh, gosh. Sometimes I'd, like, try to press it down again before it unstuck. There we go. Boom. Nice little dime. At least we killed the dime. Uh, we messed up the other one, though. All right, I think it's time. We're going to lower the DPI even more. We're going to go down to 950. Okay. I think it's good. Let's see if this feels how it Oh, I thought you were bigger. Oh, I thought that was super rare. And then I saw the lack of extra tines. I saw how big those G2s were and I was like, oh, and then it wasn't. That's still nice, though. We got a rare. It's been probably 600 kills or so since our last rare, maybe even more. That ain't bad, man. That ain't bad. We got a rare. Oh, here we go. Watch this. He's drinking. That means it's going to take him a while to run. So we can do that right there. Shiny. Yes, we found a shiny. <laughs> nice, Uncle Gaming. That's awesome. Congrats, dude. Boom. 240. Oh, what? It unbound my enter key again on my mouse button. It, it showed that it was still really... Come on, bro. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about the mouse is the software sucks. EVGA's software, it sucks. It doesn't save things properly. Boom. There's our piebald. Tax that bad boy. Jeez. Yeah, now my mouse sensitivity feels feels pretty good. Again, just gonna take you uh, getting used to. That is a uh, that's a rare. Love to see it, man. First taxable trophy of the day. Well, we did tax that 250 scoring 
Um, that one 250 scoring deer, because I've never seen that rack score that high, but it's our first, like, crazy trophy of the day. Boom. I think there was just one over there. Way of the Hunter or Call of the Wild? I prefer Call of the Wild. Just because it fits my pacing more. I like a uh, faster paced hunting game. Call of the Wild gives a perfect balance of realism and eliminating a lot of the boring things about hunting. You know, a lot of the waiting. So it's perfect for me. Though from time to time I do enjoy a uh, slower paced experience. Sometimes it's fun to play Way of the Hunter or the Hunter Classic, but I don't do it every day. How many kills should it take to get a great one red deer? Usually two to three thousand, uh, Sebastian. Between two thousand and three thousand, I would say, is the average. Mr. Moose, this is a white tails. What? Uh, uh, we got an extra buck here now? Okay, we're getting some interesting, uh... Interesting stuff moving around. There we go. We use that little drinking animation to get that last one dead. What's my FOV? I believe I raised it to 80. It was at 75, but I raised it to 80. IRL hunting for me first. I don't, or is I don't get to my stand and I already have something on the ground. Gotcha, yeah. On a lazy day? Yeah, pretty much. It's hard to say, Pops Pistols. Uh, the one thing about YouTube is it's unpredictable. It is unpredictable. I'm going to do it for as long as I can, though. I mean, it's literally my dream job. I love doing it. I love entertaining you guys. Love being able to share my adventures in, in uh, Call of the Wild and other games with you guys. I'm going to do it for as long as I'm able to. Can't wait for the great one in about six minutes. Uh, if it pops up in six minutes, that'd be insane. That would be ridiculous if it did. To be fair though, Cole, you probably never even noticed that I played on 75 FOV, did you? And on pretty much any other game, I play on at least 90. If it's a first person shooter, I always play on 90 or higher. But for hunting games, I feel like it's a little more immersive to have it lower. No, we haven't got the bear yet, sadly. That bear eludes us still. I don't know what we need to do to get it to spawn. Eh, probably get good. That'd probably help. We just gotta get good. Then we'll get bear. Wow, we actually uh, got them both. I think I did just have the DPI slightly too high. I'm not really a big fan of Fortnite, Austin. I stopped playing it years ago. After they made tons of changes to the game and it didn't feel like the original anymore. Definitely got to get the goodest. Oh, yeah. Got to get good, Scarecrow. Gosh. Hashtag Scarecrow bad. Thank you, John. Howdy do herd management for Red Deer. Leave level fours and below. Higher FOV feels like you move faster. Yeah, it does give off that effect. It definitely does. It gives off that effect because you have more of the screen visible.
How do you do herd management for wild boar? I could not even begin to tell you because I, I have no clue. I have never tried it on boar. Yeah, they are resetting red deer populations. They already said they are. Oh, no worries, John. Just being here is support enough, man. Just watching the streams helps support. And especially watching the videos. Watching the videos supports the channel uh, more than pretty much anything else. What's on the menu tonight? Uh, Whitetail deer and maybe black bear if we're if we're feeling froggy. A couple streams ago, you added an old lake back into your whitetail grind. Maybe you need to add a different lake to your bear grind. Uh, maybe business. The thing is, I don't want to with the bear grind. We tried adding a new lake in yesterday, and they never showed up to their zone. Like we saw the bears there one time, and that's why I stopped hunting the other lakes for the bears. I don't want to see like. 15 or 20 bears an hour. I, I want to be able to get those high kill counts so I don't get bored with it. I would have quit the bear grind a long time ago if we hadn't got it down to two lakes. So I'm not going to do that for the bear grind. It just, I wouldn't have fun with it. It's already a grueling grind. I couldn't imagine limiting the amount of bears I see even more. Oh, I'm going to do tons of fallow great one grinding, Bradford. I'm going to do tons of great one grinding for the fallow. Nice, Bob. That's awesome, man. Congrats on your first diamond. That is awesome to hear. Couple bucks there. And I ain't talking dollar bills either. All right, no bucks over there. Hey, Huntress, how's it going? I hope you're doing good. Oh, yeah, for sure, Michael. Like, bears just take it out of me, man. The bears drain me. It, it is a mentally draining grind. Though any grind that lasts over 7,000 kills will start to drain you. Uh, yeah, Damon, I would wait till the update hits. Just so you don't have to go through the whole, like, uh, resetting of the Red Deer and having to start over with finding your zones. What is the average kills for a moose grind? Uh, between 500 and 1500 usually. Took an eight month break, then came back to a 255.44 diamond red deer. My first ever. Nice, dude. That's awesome. The diamond red deer look pretty impressive. Always been a big fan of the way they look. Even though it's not the most realistic rendition of red deer uh they look impressive gotta say they look impressive even though in real life i don't think red deer get quite as tall as the diamonds do in call of the wild but they still look amazing can't deny all right we just hit 300 kills in this grind 300 kills that means we've killed about 100 today roughly 100 today I think we've killed 98. Yeah, I think 20 minutes. Not bad. Uh, yeah, Austin, we got a great one yesterday at like 35 minutes into the stream. Literally, we did like two runs and boom, great one. It was a, uh, a Kinsko Rack Whitetail. Got to spawn at Runaki as well. And it's wild because like just a few days before, we were talking about how... We stopped getting great ones consistently 
when we added new zones into our grind and got rid of some of our old zones. And so we re-implemented a couple old zones and got rid of a couple of the zones we had replaced them with. And immediately we had great ones popping up. So like, uh, no, the audio is not cutting out guys. Reset the stream, reset the stream. It's a YouTube thing. My mic's fine. It's a YouTube problem. Reset the stream. It's not on me. It's YouTube's fault. Please just reset the stream. <laughs> Next update going to be big. It's going to be huge, man. Like so much stuff. Nothing there. When's the video of two great ones in three days? Uh, I don't know. I haven't recorded the uh, rest of it yet. We just have the footage of getting those great ones. I still need to record like a video for it to go with. We got one of them yesterday on live stream though. And then the day before we killed the other one, but I, it had spawned the night before. So it spawned the night before and then we killed it on stream two days ago. So both of them you can find on, uh, on the channel if you go to the live streams. But I'll, I'll get a video made out of them soon. I just don't know the exact date. Um, I have played it, Shark Bubba. We've been, we've played it off and on on the channel. I think I played it less than a month ago, even. Yes, bears are still mean. They really are. How do I tell which is what? Um, for what, Chip? I may have missed a previous message from you or something. I'm not quite sure what you're uh, referring to. You gotta re refresh the stream, Mr. Football. If you refresh the stream, just like close out of the stream and then click back on it. It should work. For the great one. Oh, there is reference images in various Discord communities of all the different antlers. And uh, really, to be honest, I don't know where you can find the names for them because most of the names have just been given to them by people throughout the community. It's like I know the names of all of them because I've been hunting great ones for a long time and I've been in a lot of uh, different Discord communities and watched so much uh, great one content and stuff over the years that I've just learned all the names by memory. Uh, I could see how it would probably be really confusing like if you haven't seen a lot of them. Um, I don't even know how to explain them really. I guess the easiest one is the big rack. The big rack for whitetail, it scores in the 600s. It's pretty pretty hard to mistake that one. It's the only rack that scores in the 600s. Just about the size of the deer? Yes, exactly. Like the size of the antlers on the great one. The great one is a random spawn chance. The great one is a random spawn that typically takes one to two thousand kills to get for whitetail, though it can be faster or take longer because it is random at the end of the day. But it's a very low chance of it spawning, right? And then it's got six different antler variations that you could potentially get on your great one when it does spawn. And so each of them have been given names by the community over time. Um, if, if I remember to, I'll go in my lodge at the end of the uh, stream and show you all the different racks for whitetail because there is quite a few of them and they can all be quite uh, varied in the way they look. In fact, I do have a, uh, I do have a video showcasing my great one lodge. So that would be cool or that would probably uh, help you out if you want to get a look at all of them. Yeah, exactly, Chip. Like, they're incredibly rare. 
which is why they're so sought after, and it's why a lot of people uh, grind for them. Because if you're not grinding for them, there's a good chance you'll probably never see one. Or if you do, it'll be like the luckiest thing ever. So yeah, that's exactly why people grind for them. Like uh, most of my grinds for Whitetail last between 1,000 and 1,500 kills. Uh, with my longest grind being about 2,700 and my shortest being 80, which was really lucky. Uh, we had a pretty short one the other day, too. Yesterday, we had one pop up in 289 kills. Uh, my longest Great One grind ever, though, is for the Black Bear Great One. The Black Bear Great One has currently took us 7,600 kills and the better part of, like, a year. So the bear is by far the one we're having the most trouble with. We've just not been able to get it to show up. How long does it take to kill that many? Uh, that's going to vary greatly depending on experience in the game. Like, uh, I used to get maybe 20 or 30 whitetail kills an hour. And that was back when I used to just run the river and I'd like run to each zone, shoot a couple deer there, run to the next zone. Uh, the more I got into grinding, I started setting up tents. Uh, I had to discover 72 whitetail zones on my map, which took... <sighs> Jeez. The first 65 took about 100 hours to find all those zones. And then we've spent hundreds of hours just hunting those zones. And over time, I found extra ones that I didn't even know existed. Uh, right now, we kill about maybe between 70 and 100 deer an hour. But again, that's after thousands upon thousands of kills of grinding this map for Whitetail and figuring out their patterns and the best places to hunt them. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to hit up the restroom real quickly, and then we'll be back. Uh, real quickly, though, thank you for the membership renewal. I'm the boss. Hope the Great One Bear comes soon. Me too, man. I hope so. But I will be uh, right back, guys.
<laughs> yes, it's a, oh my god. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's see. Ah, uh, business. Thank you for the super chat, dude. We all just saw your great one run away. You missed it for a bathroom break. I bet I did. I bet I did. Thank you, uh, business. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you for the super chat, sir. You know, one of these days when you guys try to trick me, it's actually gonna have a great one there and you guys will be like what I didn't know there was actually one Imagine that imagine one of these days when you guys try to trick me there actually will be a great one That'd be hilarious Thank you once again for the super chat though much appreciated You see, Austin, for some people that might work, but I know how these deer behave like it's like it's the back of my own hand, you know? I know for a fact there's no other herds of whitetail there. There's only one herd of whitetail there within like a two kilometer radius. And it's that one that we were just looking at that I killed two bucks out of. And that herd always has five deer, two bucks, three does. So sorry, man. You guys can't trick me. I literally have my entire herds memorized. There's no getting it past old crow. No tricking old crow into thinking that there's a great one when there isn't. Guess we should probably main menu. That might help. There we go. Oof. Looks like Steam's down. Multiplayer's down. Yeah, business. You guys definitely did. You guys were trying to sell it, but I've just I've just been. I've had so many people try to trick me in the past that I just assume that it's gonna be a lie now. So many of you guys have tried to trick me before in the past and I mean like I said I already know all my herds. Ooh, he thick. A good buck. Not bad, man. I saw another deer in the back, but I don't know if he's going to come out into, into the open. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. That's a big two. That's probably a diamond level two as well. Hey, Cooper, how's it going? You didn't miss too much. We got a uh, piebald, but it was a very small piebald. Ah, uh, that's really it for trophies today. Nothing too wild, man. Nothing too wild. Holy, it's Jebba. How you doing, Jebba? Hope you're doing great, man. Also, I'm gonna mention this again, since uh, we've got different people in here than when I mentioned it before. I am posting my first uh, gaming video on my second YouTube channel, so if you have not subscribed to Scarecrow Uncut, I definitely recommend doing that. We're going to be posting uh, content for other games that aren't hunting and fishing related. First video is going up at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today, so three hours from now. And it's going to be on a game called Ground Branch, which is a uh, super like slow-paced, methodical, tactical first-person shooter. Uh, it's some gameplay with Brober from a stream he did the other night, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Even if it's not what you normally watch, you might end up enjoying it, so stay tuned for that at 6 o'clock. Uh, there's the link to the second channel right below Logan's membership, and uh, Logan, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool things. Thank you so, so much. 
Hope you're doing great, man. Hope you're doing great. Do I play CS? I've played CS a lot in the past. I think I've got a few thousand hours on it. Probably like 3,000. Uh, no, Ziff, it's not. The developers came out and said that it is not. The developers made a statement, or I guess Jaxie Beard made a statement on behalf of the developers on one of their official live streams, saying that herd management is not an exploit or a cheat. And that it's perfectly fine to do. So, it isn't. A lot of people thought it might be for a while, which is why there was so much, like, uh, conflict and arguing over the topic. But then the devs came out and said it isn't, so... That closes that case. Oh, gotcha, Monkey Toes, bro. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a fun game, man. I like Ground Branch. It's very... It's pretty realistic, honestly. I love the, uh, the realism in, like, the, um... I love the realism in modifying weapons. Like, the fact that there's, like, 20 snap points on some of the guns where you can place the flashlights and the lasers. Like, that's... That's impressive stuff, having that many snap points for, uh... For your, uh... Lasers, flashlights, optics... It's impressive. It's very impressive. Um, there's the other buck. I didn't reload. No. Beautiful. It, it worked out in the end, okay? It worked out in the end. Don't float. Don't. Ah, he's floating. He's floating. What is my least favorite hunting game? Uh, Hunting Sim 2. Hunting Sim 2. <laughs> Not a fan of Hunting Sim 2. Just because of the way the developers treated the game. It was a disappointment to me. That was sloppy. It was, Jeb, but that was, that was bad. I should have reloaded first. I really should have. It is what it is, though. And to be fair, though, Jeb, I'm getting used to a brand new mouse. So, like, the mouse, the shape of this mouse and the size of it is different than my old mouse. So I'm still getting used to that. So that that's, that's my excuse. That's it. <laughs> and now 10 duck aim. <laughs> oh, I see you found a new use for that emote, Johnny. Is this? We haven't. Okay, no, there isn't an extra deer. For some reason, I thought there were six there for a second. Two, three, four, five. Okay, it is just five. Good. Blame the mouse. <laughs> hey, I mean, to be fair, it kind of is, Andrew. It kind of is. It's, it's not the type of mouse I'm used to. There's one. The Duck Dynasty hunting game? I, there's a Duck Dynasty hunting game? What? It must not be on PC. Actually, I think I know what you're talking about. Was there one... Mm, was there was there a Duck Dynasty game for the Wii? Was it for the Wii or something like that? I think it was for like the Wii. If it was for the Wii, I could see how it was probably bad. Let's be honest, no hunting game that plays on a Wii could be like Call of the Wild or anything like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Cole, I have. Ooh. We got a deer. I... I almost just said quack quack. 
Because we were just talking about duck dynasty and duck hunting and stuff. I almost said quack quack. I almost said we got a deer. Quack quack. <laughs> My gosh. No, you haven't missed any great ones, uh, shark. No great ones have spawned today. Remember they had that gun you could shoot that looked sick for the PlayStation Wii? Oh yeah, I remember those. Those were for the big game hunter games as well. Those were cool. Those were pretty cool. I remember back like 10 years ago, uh, renting the, um, or not renting, but like borrowing the Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2010, I believe? and the gun that goes with it uh, from our local library. It was it was kind of crazy that the library had like the gun that goes with the big game hunter games for Xbox and Wii and stuff. So that was like the only time I ever got to use it. That was when you used to manage the GameStop. Oh, nice, Jebba. Now, did you herd manage that GameStop, though, to give, like, better quality uh, games from AAA developers? Did you, did you ever try that out? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make a herd management joke. I had to. I just had to, man. You're at 17%. Oh, no, Johnny. Feels bad. Well, rest in pieces. You could be gone at any moment then. Holy CG with the 24 months. That's a long time, man. You finally made it to the two years. You made it to the two years. Holy. Two years as a member. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's a big boy three. We got a big boy three next to that diamond too. So that means that diamond respawned as a giant level three. That might be a 270s. That might be a 270. Zef, you're apparently not up to date or you're just deaf because I explained literally like 10 minutes ago that the developers came out and said that it's not an exploit. So your argument is immediately ended right there. The developers came out and literally said that they support herd management and they're okay with people doing it because it's not a cheat. It's not a cheat. It's not an exploit. No matter what people say. Really? You're going to turn away like that. Really? You're going to you're going to just turn around. Well, we got the nice one. Nothing in that zone. All right, let's go grab this one. Oh, it was almost 270 plus, man. It was almost 270 plus. Wow. It was almost a 270 plus basket rack. Jeez. So close. I've already got two 270 pluses taxed, so we're not going to tax this one, but... Ah, he was so close. So close to being a 270 plus, and that's a diamond for the diamond counter. What do I consider for uh, tax worthy for diamond deer now? Uh, it depends. It depends on the rack. For the basket rack, 270 plus is what I tax. For the big rack, it's got to be 275 or just really wonky and unique looking. Um, I don't tax any of the small rack ones anymore. 
And then for the mid racks, it's got to be a wonky one if I'm going to tax it. So primarily just wonky ones, 275 plus or 270 basket racks. And then obviously any super rare I will tax. Uh, yes, Isaac can. The basket rack can go clear up to like 272 or 273, I believe. I've got one that's 271, I believe. Yeah, 271, I think, is my best. Should you get Tiawaroa? I highly recommend it, Jaguar. It's a top three map for me easily. And now with the Great One Fallow being released, it's going to be even better. It's the best Fallow map in the game currently. It is the best Red Deer map. It's also got a lot of really... It's got a lot of really cool species on it, like the Sika Deer. It's got uh, decent hunting for feral pigs. Things like that. Yeah, I can't believe you're a basket rat, KC. Not gonna lie, kind of jealous. It took me over 30,000 kills to get a 270 basket rack. Just like, gosh, my luck with them was really bad for a long time. And literally one of your first ones on that grind was a giant basket rack. Super lucky. So what do you think about that announcement of three new true rack species, KC? Pretty insane, right? I heard that and I'm like, what? Three new true rack species in one update? Wh Since when have they ever done that? Besides the first iteration. It's just mind boggling the amount of stuff that's getting packed into this update. I'm just so excited for it. Do you know when I'll do the next no DLC? Uh, yes, I got a no DLC video planned. It was supposed to go out today, but I forgot that it was Tuesday. So yeah, it's going to go out either tomorrow or the day after. I still have two videos I need to upload. And then I also need to record a video for the great one. So there's like, I have so much video stuff I'm planning on doing. Stuff keeps coming up that's taking precedence over what I had planned. So yeah, we'll get it out when we can. It is recorded though. I've got the next episode recorded. Yeah, he did announce it very casually. <laughs> Craziness. 237. And that guy is a small male. How would they do bison though? Uh, I assume just like water buffalo, right? It's both horns. It's probably just going to be they're going to change the sizes of the horns and I would imagine they might like maybe they can be bent in different directions. It probably won't be super advanced, which is maybe why they were able to do three in one update. Because I imagine there's probably not much to it. Boom. That's literally the first message I've seen from that person too, Johnny. <laughs> That's a way to never get to talk and chat again. What do we got in this zone? Deer. That's what we got. We got deer. Excuse me. Don't cross in front of your buddy. Don't you know that's dangerous? Crossing in front of a level two is about the most dangerous thing you could do. What did he say? Uh, something I cannot repeat on stream. So yeah. <laughs> what are all the perks of being a member? Um, you get to use all of the channel custom emotes. You get to see, I believe it's like five or six extra videos on the channel that were scrapped and made into member videos. Uh, you also get some extra Discord channels. 
that a piebald? Get extra Discord channels. I don't think it's a piebald, actually. No, it's not. Uh, the extra Discord channels for members only. A green name in chat. A badge next to your name. It's okay, Ziff. You know, it's okay if you're in denial, but... You know what the devs say goes. It's not an exploit. At the end of the day, the developers get to say what is and isn't, so... What's going on in chat today? I don't know, Caitlin. It's been something else. Last two days, to be honest. Is that the Argus? Yes, it is the Argus. Look at you two. Pair of good looking uh, young bucks over here. You know, when you think about it, every buck on a great one grind like this is a young buck because it, it's only alive for like maybe 10 minutes before you shoot it. <laughs> uh, crazy to think how wild Call of the Wild is. <laughs> A deer spawns and it's dead within 10 minutes when you're grinding. That's that's wild. Do you just leave level 1s or some 2s? I leave primarily level 1s. Uh, there's a couple of 2s that I scatter throughout the map if they're a fence rack. Like if it's a fence rack level 2, sometimes I'll leave it if it's the last one in a herd that I needed to shoot down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Andrew. He's uh he's doing chat management. You know, it's just like uh it's just like Oh, what the Dude, that's three runs in a row this buck has respawned. Holy Okay, let's just nip this in the bud right now. Ziggs, chill. KC, it's it's fine. Just both of you chill. I don't want to get it. I don't want to repeat of yesterday, please. If you got beef, take it to the DMs. We're not going to start outing people for opinions. Wait, did I kill that one? No, I don't think I did. I think we missed both of those shots, unfortunately. Except Zeph. Well, Zeph was getting disrespectful with it, so there's a difference between that. Yeah, just remember that's not really something for stream, Ziggs. Not really something to bring up in a stream. I mean, I'm trying to have a positive stream, right? I try to keep everything as positive as possible, so I don't really like it when we just start dragging, like, controversial or uh, anything, like, any type of controversial topic into the chat discussion. Because it just, it kills the mood of the stream, right? And at the end of the day, I'm just trying to have fun with you guys. Just trying to enjoy the stream. Ooh, that sounds... Oof, that sounds good, Jeva. Holy. Couple little bucks there. Um, that last buck didn't make diamond, did it, guys? I don't think it did. The one at the last lake? I don't think it made diamond. I wasn't really paying attention. How's the grind been going? It's been pretty good so far, Mark. We got one little pieball to show up so far. Hoping that we'll get, uh, something else. I'm hoping to get a big rare. I don't expect another great one. 
We got really lucky with the last great one. But I'm hoping that we can get a nice sized rare. That'd be my goal for the day. A big rare. Preferably, uh, preferably another big Mela. It's fine, Marky. No worries, man. No worries. Oh, I had to scroll up in chat for a second. I thought I missed something. <laughs> well, that guy's full of holes. Four, holy. Yeah, and I feel like I specifically said to chill out in chat, so both of you chill out. Like, I'm getting tired of having to police this. I shouldn't have to. The moderators are, are four, right? And when the moderators are engaging in it, just stressing me out more. So please, just both of you chill out. I'm getting real sick of it, honestly. I shouldn't even have to, like, say that. You're letting them get to you, though, KC. You're going back and forth with them over something that's should just have been ignored in the first place. It never would have even evolved into a conversation if it had just been ignored. I right, later, Legend. I mean, you can do that in your stream, KC, but this is my stream. We ignore the people like that because if you ignore them, they have nothing to gain from it, right? If you ignore people that are talking bad about you, they lose all satisfaction. Most of the time, if somebody's talking down on you, they're just trying to get a reaction. If you don't give them a reaction, they will just stop and leave on their own. And if it gets bad enough and they keep pressing on, they'll get banned. It's that simple. Just tired of this stuff being uh, bled over into my streams. It's two days in a row. That stuff that's not even related to me keeps getting brought up in chat. And I'm, I'm just done with it. Don't want the drama over here. How many kills? 353. Ah, oh, we're doing good, Jebba. We're doing good. Called Scarecrow Uncut. Yep, the second channel is Scarecrow Uncut. Oh 
Oh no, Pike. Oh no. We know what that means. Pike the absolute legend, man. Pike the absolute legend. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. I try my best. There's only so much I can do, you know? At the end of the day, I'm just trying to just trying to have a fun stream. Hi, thank you for the 10 gifted. Red Hunter, Harley, uh, Tor, 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 Ziggs, uh, Official Chip, Jeremy, Chantel, Richard, uh, Deruder, Groovy. You guys all got gifted memberships. Enjoy all of the amazing emotes and other perks that come with that. Thank you once again, Pike. That brings us up to 1,100 members and a brand new emote. Brand new emote. Let's get let's get that going. Oh my gosh, Jebba with the five gifted as well. Thank you for the five gifted, Jebba. Holy. Thank you for the memberships, dude. Uh... Congrats to Jimmy, Conrad, uh, Mid Midariah, Spencer, and Travis. Congrats, guys. Uh, let's just move on, Marky. Let's chill with that. That goes for everybody, not just the two that were originally involved. Everybody, you know? So, you know, we're moving on, man. We're moving on. No more negativity. Thank you so much, Pike and Jebba. You guys are absolute legends. All right, let's go ahead and get that emote added. I don't know what type of temporary emote to do. I guess temporarily cold coffee's coming back because it's the only emote I have that's not currently in use. So let's add that real quick. Oh my gosh. Uh, so it turns out I need 200 per emote now. So yeah, we're actually not getting a new emote. E apparently once you hit a thousand, it's every 200 you get a new emote. So rest in pieces. Looks like we're not getting a new emote yet. I'm s I'm sorry, Pike. It's it, Apparently it's 200 per now. So that's unfortunate, but I appreciate all the support, man. I really do. Really appreciate it all. But yeah, apparently it's every 200 now. It makes sense though. It increases the, the more members you get. Yeah, big rip. I was hoping we'd have another emote slot, but YouTube said no. What did you miss, Dylan? Uh, you missed a little piebald. That's pretty much it. Hello? Ah, there you are. A little bit late to the party, I see. Little bit late to the party, eh? You know, I'll forgive it this one time. So, after two hours of grinding, we've killed 155 Whitetail. Honestly, that, that ain't too bad. That's like averaging 76 or 77 Whitetail an hour. We're doing okay. That honestly means this last hour we killed like 90. So, the first hour we only killed 70, which means the second one was close to 90. It was around like 85. Not bad. So we're picking it up again. Someone got a great one today? Was it you, Mark? I'm going to assume it was you since you, uh, since you said somebody got a great one today. There's the three we missed. There he is. 
True, I did take a quick break. That's true, I did take a little bit of a break to hit up the restroom. So we actually can shave a couple minutes off of there. But a turkey that didn't look quite right turned out to be a leucistic. Nice, dude, that's awesome. The leucistic turkeys are so cool. Honestly, I love the rare turkeys. It's a shame that it's so hard to tell what's rare for the Merriam turkey anymore because of the light browns being a thing. There we go. Boom. Two fourteen. Oh, uh, I, you guys see nothing. You see nothing. You hear nothing. I'm gonna go back to my sand. Nice draw. Nice. Oof. Missed that shot. I just got a great one, Crow. You're good luck. Nice, John. That's awesome, dude. How rare is a level two male red deer? Very rare process sports. They they don't spawn very often. They're probably almost as rare as a great one, to be honest. Not quite, but you know, they're they're probably between the rarity of a rare and a great one, so they're definitely not common to find. I don't see very many level 2 red deer ever. I think in my entire red deer grind, like my 20,000 kills of red deer grinding, I think I only had like less than 5. I think it was less than 5 level 2s showed up. Pretty crazy when you think about it. Lots of threes and fours, though. Had lots of threes and fours show up. Got my level two red deer next to my great one. Dude, that is like... That has to be the luckiest zone of all. A level two and a great one? Spawning in the same zone at the same time? What are the odds of that? That kind of gives me the thought that maybe like the great one drove down the score of the other respawn in that herd. And so it was like, hey, you're a two now. I'll make room for me. My antlers take up the whole zone. <laughs> he just roars like dinosaurs. Wait, what am I reading? I'm confused. I'm confused what I'm reading. <laughs> no, we haven't got another great one today, Brody. We got one yesterday, but not today. Four more deer down. Glad the respawns have cooperated. When we started the stream today, they were not cooperating. But it's nice to see if they've started to at this point. There we go. Well, stacking white tail had a super rare and a great one in the same zone from stacking. Nice, dude. That's crazy. I've never tried stacking a super rare because I'm always afraid that like something's gonna happen and it's just gonna go missing. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Drew. I hope you get it soon, man. Hopefully your great one will show up soon for you. One seventy three. There we go. The super air was two sixty nine, dude. I don't have any super airs that high scoring. Like, all my super airs have been like. Below 265, I think they've never been bigger than Basket Rack. Yeah, and you're always on the draw, you know? Gotta be ready. Great one was a chunky and typical 50-50. Ooh, that's a cool combination. That's probably one of my favorite 50-50 uh, wrecks. Oh, no. I killed the one. I shot the wrong deer. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. There was another deer alive, right? There, there was at least one more buck alive, right? I think there was another big buck. Did I turn that to a solo doe zone? Tell me I didn't. Tell me I didn't. I was reading chat and like I, I just, I didn't think about it. Ah, oh, man. Please tell me I didn't nuke that zone. I like that zone, man. You know, let's go back to that zone and see what the zone says. If it says one, then sadness ensues. There were still two deer. Okay. That's good. <laughs> There were four. Okay, so my guess is that one probably got in front of the two and just got smoked. So as long as we don't shoot this zone down to less than two, we should be okay. Okay, we'll check it next run. Ugh, I can't believe I did that. What's my favorite mechanic coming in the update? I don't know what my favorite, like, new mechanic would be. I mean, I think out of everything in the update, Australia is what I'm most excited for. Super exciting stuff, you know? Collectosaurus Rex and beyond. Thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. There's a buck. There's a deer. 
Uh, we got one buck. There might be a buck behind him as well. Praying next update we'll have a rosy elk remaster. The more I look at mine in the lodge, it just looks uh, very little like an elk. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm hoping we'll eventually get a great one for them as well. Hey, Esteban, it's going good. Got a bit of a stomach ache though, so probably not going to go for too much longer. Um, I have no idea, Collectosaurus. I'm not even sure, like, how you hunt those in real life. Never heard of hunting, uh, soft-shelled turtles. What's my favorite trophy? Uh, probably my two-tone moose. Probably my two-tone great one moose. How have I been? I've been pretty good. Been doing decent. You very well could have, Jennifer. There is a bug with Moose uh, launching into the air, so... Totally possible. Uh, if you want to find gators in Mississippi, uh, Rooster, I would say check the coast. On the left side of the map, it's usually got quite a few of them. Usually a pretty good spot to look. Which they would eventually add geese or ducks to Silver Ridge. That would be pretty cool. Definitely would be cool. A little 303 action. Why not? Well, I mean, Jaguar, if you want to get great ones, you got to claim your kills, man. Jaxie alluded to the fact that that's probably a factor in getting a great one is claiming all your kills. So I would recommend claiming them if you're not. If you're hunting for a great one species and trying to get that great one, you got to claim them. Snapping turtle Stacy. I've heard it's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, this zone. Where's the doe? Well, I don't know where the doe is, but we're going to be careful now. We have too many level twos here.
So now we're not going to be able to shoot all the ones here anymore. Unfortunate. Rest in peace that shot. That was unfortunate. I know, same, Caitlin. It's kind of mind-blowing. That is the last thing I would have expected. Like, for real. That's the last thing that I would have expected. Did I shoot a doe there? No, I accidentally shot the level one that was in that zone. And so I was like, man, did I shoot too many? Because I thought I accidentally shot, like, too many. Guess that explains the Euro Bison Mount. True, I didn't think of that. That might be why they did that. Because they got the True Horns now. Are they adding Whitetail to Emerald Coast? No, it's it's an Australia map. All right, but anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today's stream. Um, I'm probably gonna do another stream later. I don't know when. But remember, 6 p.m., we got a video going up on the second channel. Be sure to sub to that if you haven't. It's Scarecrow Uncut. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back later on. Peace.